Good evening and welcome to KwaZulu Natal. We find ourselves in the kingdom of the Zulu as the capital of the province. Peter Maritzburg hosts this entertaining and potentially pivotal DSTV Premiership tie. It is Maritzburg United who host Chipper United in a battle of two sides just above the relegation zone, but indeed battling against one another in what is undoubtedly a six-point survival tie. Who will come out on top? It waits to be seen. Now, I can tell you that Quim is down. The free kick has been uh, taken. A chipper United are on the attack here. And Glenzo are wide. The ball to Mujere is going to slide it in. He's beaten Engelhardt. And Chipper United have claimed the lead away from home. And Mujere celebrates yet again. He's on a great goal scoring run. It's his fourth goal for Chipper United, but a critical one in a pivotal tie of survival. This undoubtedly the six point vantage chipper who were technically a man down as Quinn didn't get up. Look at that ball across. Mujeles run and the finish. William Shongwe, how gorgeous was that for a counter? Shongwe chip through here. Is he onside? Chance to equalize and it's in. Kutumela has made it five successive matches in which he has scored and scores are level again. There was the promise of goals earlier, and over the last 10 minutes, two have come. One from Chipper United taking the lead away from home, and an equaliser by the man that many expected to score an eighth goal of the season here, and he's done exactly that. Ten across all competitions. It is Kutumela who has brought Maritzburg United back on level terms before the break. Feeds in and uh, this time nodded away, oh, but not clear! What a strike from range! Thunderous, absolutely monstrous from Kutumela! <laughs> oh my word, again! Oh, my, 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 my! You will run out of superlatives describing that strike! Oh. Top flight career. But I can tell you, the one problem that is very visible for me, once again, Chipper United in their build-up stages, and uh, that just might uh, be there, and making is uh, Chipper United. Oh, win. here's a glorious ball in over the top. Beautiful, might be a fifth goal in the game. Fine save from Engelhardt. No support here. Lafort tries to set up another chance. And now, Konobe has gone high. Again, Chipper United carve out the chances, failed to claim them. Good save from Engelhardt to close down the initial effort. But how was that for a pass? Quam uh, with the uh, effort. Maybe doesn't get it uh, correctly so, or should I say hard enough to beat the goalkeeper? Yes, Florani on a streaking breakaway. Can he find a goal here? It's going to be deflected. Oh, a clearance off the line by Damons. Throwing his body at his own upright, he might have hurt himself in the process, but Chipper United still street forward, hoping to take advantage of this. And that's going to be... Oh, I thought he might have been in an offside position. Quim, one-on-one! Engelhardt with a save, and Ray to the rescue. Out for the corner it goes. But Engelhardt, what a save from the German goalkeeper. On the opposite side, though, the concern over, uh, over uh, Damon's... It was a sensational rescue act. But I wonder if he might just be pulling up with Kremp as well. Look at this. And Charlie takes the pace off the Klulani effort. But how about that for commitment? I'm just having a look at some of those touches from Damon Klaassen again. I saw your body twitching and moving. <laughs> Wasn't there the, uh, the infamous fan in Swatini who used to... He, he didn't have slight twitches. He used to kick people in the stands when he was so excited. Here's Klulani. Charlie! Yeah! Inside the final 10 minutes, Maritzburg United romp into a three-goal advantage and surely have wrapped up the three points in style. Emphatic, enigmatic, and undoubtedly on their way to a victory now. Maritzburg United are cruising against Chipper. They scored two in the opening half, they got another in the second, and they are three goals to the good against a side they were level with on points coming into this match. Another chance here. Speaking of finishing, as uh, Musiameri looks to scramble that ball around him. Charlie now to an open net potentially. Meza might have the follow up and he hits five. 
Jose Alimeza, who scored the very first goal of the season for Maritzburg United in their defeat to Barocca on opening day of the DSTV Premiership, has now got their most recent goal in a five-goal <laughs> match for this side. They are celebrating, they are scintillating, and my word, are they being celebrated here? Listen, this for me is fitting for Marisburg United. The kind of performance that they put out this evening is just second to none. This is a side effectively 10 points from safety and well on track to challenge for a top eight finish if they continue performing the way they've done here tonight. But for the visiting side, there are some disturbing times ahead when you consider it's now eight matches without a win. If you take out their Nedbank Cup performances in which they have romped to the semi-finals and are a match against Pretoria Callies away from making it into a final. This is a Maritzburg victory to savour. They will celebrate it after a scintillating performance. 5-1, they win.